Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World, and I am Deb Chanel. All right, we're going to get right on into the story that Urban Bell Mag magazine brought out to us for our viewing pleasure, and I am giving it to you on my perspective and my viewpoints. But we're going to get right into the story. Amanda Anderson Niles was responsible for this commentary for her boss or her person she's independently contracted through, which is Urban Bell Mag magazine. All right, on urbanbellmag.com. Her title of her article is Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey responds after Marlo Hampton says, Can you more punk, sir? <laughs> well, child, if it ain't any trying to own her, Kenya trying to destroy her, but it that was on my pun intended, not in this article. Let's go on and get right on into it so we can make our sidebars as we go along. It says Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leaks, or I'm sorry, Real Housewives of, of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey is on the outs with Nene Leaks. The former best friends fell out last season. Nene was upset that Cynthia didn't tell her Kenya Moore would be attending her event, and some behind the scenes footage made Nene think Cynthia had plotted with Candy Burris against her. Now, again, we know that whole scenario is pretty much dried up. It's been recycled so much. It's more so Nene wants heads up on coming to any type of event. And Kenya Moore is going to be there. Okay. If you want to give her that option, do so. If you don't, it just is what it is. Nene needs to grow up. Come on into her grown folks way of thinking. And smooze, smooze around other people. If she can't get along with one entity. All right. Or one individual, I should say. Going back to the article, it says, uh, however, it's not just Cynthia's friendship with Nene that people are talking about on the current season. Some have criticized or have criticism about friendships with Kenya Moore. Okay, at times the two of the two friends have had some tense moments. Even Candy questioned how Kenya can talk to Cynthia at times. Now when we reflect back on Cynthia's um barbecue or cynthia's q barbecue for bake late bake lake bailey um type of event she was hosting out uh, i think this was her second annual barbecue uh that she was having out for her friends as an outing in the summertime or event she had so she's making it become an annual thing at her house in the summertime she's just throwing a little barbecue for the women so it's just like a little picnic thing. They go to her house. They spend time with her maybe for a couple of hours and they leave, you know. Anything to get your taping in is what they're pretty much looking for. And it's a good uh, thing as well. But, um, yeah, everybody has been questioning how uh, Kenya has talked down and dirty and nasty to Cynthia. And they want to make like, oh, this is just sisterly love. No, -uh, honey, them fighting things. If you go talk to your sister or your brother nasty and they ain't expecting a child. Ain't no, um, uh, we call it infractions of calling out the law on your uh, siblings going to get you in trouble. No, they're going to go on and handle it with them hands, uh, shoving, pushing, wrestling on the floor and whatever. And when one of them, one of them or both of them get their behinds beat, then, you know, they get tired of the five minutes of wrestling one, with one another, calling themselves fighting with one another physically. You know, it just is what it is. But, mm -mm. uh, Kenya was just downright nasty, and none of the twirls could really come and save her because they saw what everybody else saw how she dogs and talk out talk loud over Cynthia like uh Cynthia ain't older than her Cynthia is the elder in the situation she should be paying respect to Cynthia but she telling her pretty much to hush don't um uh, interrupt her while she's talking like can you talking to some kind of child or something so everybody caught that tea that was being dropped in front of their eyes and if they just wanted to close their eyes put their head in the sand when can you be acting totally disrespectful then so may it be but everybody knew she was disrespectful at uh Cynthia's barbecue that time when King called herself getting evil together but it just is what it is Cynthia take that shit in her own house that's Cynthia Bailey but like I said um hopefully she's not like Marlo she gets Kenya uh taken and and uh together or gather her up for filth uh in public 
as well as out of the public eye because sometimes Kenya need to be chastised just like on this coming up episode she got to call herself put candy in check and she tells candy to go on and tell about the conversation they had in private and then when candy was getting to the explosive part and still trying to add on Kenya went on and um you know, disregarded that Candy was still talking. But I'm like, damn, Kenya, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? Girl, you need to sit your ass down and have several auditorium seats. Because, you know, like I said, I'm tired of you this season. You don't show your ass and continue to show your ass. And I'm just sick of it, okay? But going back to the article, it said, um... Marla Hampton appears to feel the same way after she says Kenya punks Cynthia at times. And then Cynthia responds to Marlo. And then you I think we did we come across yeah, we had already seen that particular episode where they had lunch or drinks together, coffee, uh, meeting at a coffee shop and you know, um Cynthia was trying to be nice, nasty to Marlo. Uh, in conversations of trying to figure out was she the one being secretly recording their conversations and Marlo had to get her too fast quick in a hurry together and tell her girl you ain't said nothing interesting enough for me to record and take back to Nene and when was the time that we ever talked to Nene negatively when did we have a conversation like that and then Cynthia had like oh yeah you right I'm like damn Cynthia excuse me I'm like damn Cynthia you blew that one okay Anyway, moving on back to the article, it says on the upcoming episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia Bailey meets up with Marlo Hampton. Cynthia intended to meet with Marlo to see if she's the one who secretly recorded her dragging in the leaks. Before Cynthia can ask Marlo about this, they discuss Kenya's Morris actions at Marlo Wig Lounge, and we all know how that went south. And uh, Cynthia was prompt trying to put like well hell you invited her you know she has a bag full of tricks and she don't like you too much anyway so could you have you know not expected her to do something crazy don't like Cynthia please stop trying to throw salt for salt she just wanted you to admit that your so-called friend was filed and instead of you saying yep that was disrespectful but you know how can you get down you should expect it now a response like that would have been taken very uh graciously and we would have been like okay yeah we understand that plot sometimes you just can't invite people that's gonna uh have the potential to messing up your event now you just gotta just leave them off the guest list totally okay to prevent some of those um inf- uh unforeseen circumstances for the negative okay but getting back to the article it said um after Cynthia doesn't seem to agree that Kenya was out of line, Marlo then says Kenya disrespects Cynthia to her face. She says, yeah, but you ever, okay, he says, yeah, but you ever let Nene tell me to be quiet and hush in my house? I bet you're going to see it. And I know that's right. You, anybody that got sense on a mind of their own, if anybody they uh, were invited to their house and they get disrespected in their own house, Honey, me, I got a quick, fast, and in a hurry, show you to the dough before I put my hands on you and I show you what I really feel about your demeanor at the time, okay? But it just is what it is, all right? Going back to the article, it says, Cynthia then responds with, she's like a sister to me. We go back and forth, and that's just our way. I know it looks crazy, but at the end of the day, Kenya knows what time it is. I got no problem getting Kenya, Kenya together. I said, child, when have you got anybody together? Because even your own daughter, Noelle Robinson, gets you together. And you are her mother, Cynthia. <laughs> So I'm like, girl, you better show me something. Because like I said, I did a story on you earlier today. And you was trying to confront Miss Kenya Moore. Okay, you were playing with the big dogs. Uh, trying to roof, roof, bark on her about what she said during your engagement party. Yes, yeah, she was trying to check her. And then we're going to see how that fair. We're going to see how that fair. Because they only gave us a clip. So if you come back with some shady shit or some shady mess. And you let Kenya take over that situation. Once again, you're going to be bent. You're going to be on the sideline. You're going to have t- duct tape over your mouth. Okay. We're going to want you to sit and look pretty. And we don't want you to say anything. Because you ain't built that backbone that we have been looking for ever since you've been on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. 
Um, but then we go back to the article. It says, Marlo then says, well, thank God, because I don't want you to be in a relationship where you get pumped. I will intervene. <laughs> Marlo says she would take up for you, baby, to her dying breath. All right. To her dying day, she would step in and battle anybody like Kenya Moore for you. I'm like, girl, Marlo, sit yourself down. But you did make me laugh when you said that. But going back to the article, she said she will intervene. I will save you. <laughs> From what? Oh, uh, can you mess and all that? Child, please. But anyway, that's what Marlo says. I will save you, honey. However, Cynthia doesn't feel like she needs any help. She says, honey, you can. You don't have to worry about me. You can lay your wig on your end table every night and not worry about that, honey, because I'm good. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You trying to throw soft shade there because I missed that. That went all over my head. You were trying to talk about Marlo uh, wigs. You should have came out just like she said, honey, I'm scared. Can you punking you over there? You could have said, well, Marlo, honey, you need to fix your wigs because they, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just be just out in, in the open like that. Be transparent. But don't be going through some shade about laying your wig down and this, that, and the third. Girl, please. But we have a little audio for you all to partake in. And y'all tell me what y'all thought about Cynthia calling herself getting back with Marlo on her defense of how Kenya has treated her in the past, in the current, and probably how she will treat her in the future. Because she's saying it's just silver rivalry. That's just like uh, sister banter. I'm like, Kenya ain't your biological sister. Y'all weren't current cut from the same mother and dad are you kidding me Cynthia Damn. okay but let's see what it says or let's here's what it says See, that's where I just drew my line with uh, Cynthia. Because I was like, Cynthia, when did Marlo Hampton ever hide anything that she was going to do or say to a person? No, just like she just punked you out and said, when you said you and Kenya has a, have a different relationship from other people. And she just bust out and said, are you a lesbian? <laughs> I was like, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. We were talking something serious. And then Marla just broke into her antics and said something like that. Out the blue. Where you could like, wait a minute, I'm confused. <laughs> where did you get that from and why are we even talking about that in this context? Okay, we're talking about being punk. And you're talking about me being a lesbian. Those are two separate, different categories. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, Chris, hell no. Okay. Now let's get back to this thing. You think Kenya's punking me. Okay. But that was just too crazy, too smooth. And like I said, I'll always be here for Marlo because she has 
antics. She says things out on the spur of the moment because she catches everything you say and then she tries to throw some humor in there. And I was like, good God, Marlo, good God. But anyway, that's all I had of this video. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. You know, is Cynthia getting punked by Kenya? Is Candy and Cynthia rethinking their idea of getting her back on the show? You know, doing all that muscle, uh, what do you call it? muscle that they was forcing or not really forcing but kind of like uh getting the execs hyped on bringing kenya back all that motion they was going positive to bring her back but yet she's turning on them and biting them like a uh a pet bull that has gotten enraged with their owner or just some person picking at them and you know, like they say you're poking a bear and you get poked so much you just come out with your claws and that's what it seems like king is doing to her so-called friends that she's treating like shit okay but candy burris is catching on to that that stench that king is bringing her way and she ain't liking it at least she bossing back up with her now we we don't know what uh, Cynthia going to do when it comes to Kenya. But this episode that's coming up Sunday on the 29th is very promising. Very promising to the fact that she's opening up the can of worms and she's serving it to Kenya. And she's watching her demeanor and, you know, all this negative energy she's bringing towards her. So we're going to see how she bosses back up with Kenya and, and set her straight or not either way Cynthia will probably be back on the bench anyway but you know I try to up her one when she's showing me something and try to ride or die for her but if she gets back on that choo-choo train where she just all willy-nilly and going here and there like the wind just taking her she don't have no roots no foundation to stand firm in her shit it's just gonna be another situation where she just goes back and she be silent and we don't hear from her <laughs> maybe on season 13 i don't know what it just is what it is y'all get down in them comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about everything uh that transpired through the audio as well as the commentary that i brought to you on that subject and see you know see what you know tell me what you want tell me what you want tell me what you want what you want to say what you say now speak your mind honey uh okay and that's all i got and don't forget to subscribe to my video uh channel and uh like share and um continue to like share my videos okay and we'll see you next time bye bye guys